I'm Clinton, owner of Red Beard Coffee, and we're starting a YouTube channel. We want to inform our customers and try to build a little bit of culture and understanding where coffee comes from um, so that for all the people that are interested in maybe home brewing or just knowing about coffee and how it goes from a plant on a farm in Guatemala right to your cup at Red Beard. We want to show a little bit of how that process works and <clears throat> in the process maybe we uh, you know, teach you some home brewing tips, uh, a little bit about roasting, or maybe some espresso um, understanding and how espresso is made, and all those types of things. So this is our first YouTube video. So here today, our goal today is to talk about home brewing. How do you get an amazing cup of coffee that you walk into my shop and get? How do you get it at home? Basics of you need: you need some sort of dripper. Walmart has a similar plastic style dripper. Um, you know, they're 12 bucks, 14 bucks, something like that. Um, you can get a red beard mug. You have to have a red beard mug. Otherwise the coffee's gonna taste like dirt. Um, a little food scale. You can get you can get one of these at Walmart. Um, they're anywhere from 15 to $25, $35. Or you can buy a really expensive one for 150, but that's silly. <clears throat> so that's gonna be your like your cheapest option is a dripper of some sort. So you got this sweet coffee, now you gotta grind it. This is what's called a burr grinder. A burr grinder, wait a minute. A burr grinder, this is also a burr grinder. This is a small hand grinder. The reason we push burr grinders is because of consistency. You get a nice consistent grind because all the big coffee beans have to make it all the way down through the same space as all the other beans, right? So it makes it nice and consistent all the way down to the bottom. So consistency of grind is important. So you get this sweet box. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, you get this sweet box, you open it. Boom, inside, there's a little baggie. Look at those beans. Oh, I wish you could smell a candy, that's so good. Oh man, I think I'm just gonna eat some. We are talking about one cup of coffee here. When I'm making one cup, I obviously use a dripper because it's the smallest, it's perfect amount, easy to work with. Now, what I start with is bean measurement. Some people are kind of going, "What? Uh, how much beans do I need? Uh, my rule of thumb is about six grams of coffee per 100 grams of water. And people are going, right now, I can hear you. You're going, wait a minute, you weigh the coffee and the water? That's right, because that's the only way to have a magical cup of coffee. We do it every day at the shop. That's why the coffee's consistent, and we make a great cup, because we measured it out. It's perfect every time. Now you got your coffee, right? Take your coffee, bam, right in there. That's where it goes. Turn it on. So this is what we have left over, right? Look at that. There's like a nice coarse salt right there, see? Yeah? Since we're on the subject of grinding our coffee, I'm sure that there's a bunch of you asking the question, why don't I buy coffee that's already pre-ground? The answer to that is we, do, we don't sell it that way, but we will grind it for you. Now, it is our personal preference and I'm gonna tell you why to not grind it until we're ready to use it. You wanna lock in freshness. When you roast, when this coffee is roasted, if you notice the beans, they're a nice dry, dark brown color, right? They're not oily. It's because the oil is inside of the bean. And so as soon as you break that open, as soon as you start grinding it, all those oils and the smells and aromas, they start to leave, they dry up, and they dry out. So you're losing, you are losing something. In some people's opinion, you're talking moments. Some people's it's weeks. But nonetheless, for the best cup of coffee, we recommend grinding it like for each use, for each cup or each pot or whatever your method is. We're gonna talk about water. You can buy a cheap little kettle from Walmart or whatever. We use Walmart a lot because that's about all we have here. Western Kansas. 
wherever you decide to get your kettle from, you can usually get a kettle for under ten dollars. That's a basic on your stove. Put it on your stove, heat it, bring it to a boil. You pull it off, let it cool for about ten seconds, and you're you're in the money. You can buy a basic electric kettle because I think a basic electric kettle at Walmart or somewhere like that discount store is uh, pretty inexpensive as well. Sweet, our water's heated up. We're ready to do this. Hey, welcome to my home. All right, we've got coffee. We've got hot water. Next thing to do, boom, filter, okay? First thing you need to do is pre-wet the filter. Just do a little round there, getting all the filter wet. To pre-wet the filter is important so that when you go to pour coffee, it doesn't have to try to soak through the coffee to then pre-wet the filter, or did, to then wet the filter. It's already ready to have water go through it because it's already been started for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put about 50 grams of water um, just to basically get the bed of coffee wet. I use a timer, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. Putting in about, I'm gonna go in circular motion here. So about 30, 40 seconds, we're gonna let that, it's gonna release gases and you'll see these little bubbles on top. That's uh, anything that's like kind of left, the residual gases that are in the coffee or oils, it kind of has a little bit of a reaction and it wants to bubble its way to the surface. So we're gonna let it do that here for like, yeah, about 30 seconds. All right, we're at 45 seconds now. And so now we're gonna go in with our first pour. We're gonna do circular motions, nice and slow and evenly. Try not to get too much to the edges, but we're just gonna bring that on up. We're gonna pour in about 200 grams or bring it up to 200 grams. We don't want to put in too much water at a time uh, because then it can kind of, um, it over, over waters that bed and it doesn't have a chance to actually drip out. We want it to have, give it a little bit of time. It doesn't take too much time. Like I said, we're going to about 350 grams of overall pour. Bring that back up. The second one, we should be able to get close to it. Not quite. So we're just going to let that finish dripping out. Usually a cup of coffee like this should take about uh, about three minutes. Um, so really, when you think about it from start to finish, the longest part of it is your water boil, getting to boil. That takes about seven to ten minutes, depending on how much water you're boiling and probably your altitude and things like that. What I usually do is I always start my water first so that I can get that thing going. And in that waiting time, weigh and measure and grind out my coffee so it's ready to go. So when it's done, I'm pre-filter, I'm pre-wet, my filter, everything's ready to go. I'm literally, as soon as that water's done to heating, I can start pouring. It is now finished dripping. Look at that beautiful cup of coffee. So we, uh, we spent a lot of time to do something that was actually really quick. Once you've done a bunch of these, you'll find what it works best for you. Five, seven minutes, you have a great cup of coffee. Um, the water takes the longest, but that something you turn on and you walk away and you can come back to it. The process is really pretty simple once you kind of have your your setup and, and how you like it and all that kind of stuff. And you just do it over and over. But that's for one cup of coffee, right? But say you want to make two or three cups of coffee. Say it's for your wife or you're like you have a couple of friends that uh, come over or you have a dinner party. How do you get a little bit bigger volume? Well, that's when this comes in. This is a Chemex. It is a, what they call a 10 cup size. It's about 40 ounces. So a Chemex brand, they're gonna run you about 40, $45 for a big one like this. But you can go to Walmart, they have a, another brand. But you can pick one of those up for under $15. Okay, so we're gonna, we got a dinner party tonight. You wanna make coffee for say four people. Well, the process, doing it in a Chemex is the same. Grinding, all that, it's all the same. It's just a bigger volume. So you're talking more coffee, more water. But I'm gonna show you how to do that.
So you got some sweet red beard coffee. Now you know how to brew it at home. Whether from a dripper or a Chemex like this, single cup, or for a small party, you've got what it takes to make delicious coffee right in your home. It's nothing to be afraid of. We've kind of demystified it today. We've taken what seemed like a really big concept doing a pour over, something maybe you've never even heard of, to something super simple. As you'll notice on the box, we put tasting notes for every one of our coffees. This is our house blend, we call it the Kraken. It's a bit of a dark roast, nice and robust flavor, pairs well with anything. You're gonna be able to learn to start seeing, like tasting these notes that you see on the box. You're gonna be able to taste um, like this one, nice chocolate, a little bit of tobacco, maybe a citrus uh, flavor. Uh, you'll begin to develop a palate that's gotta start somewhere and it starts with just a good cup of coffee right here at home. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is my house. Welcome. I didn't say that before, but you are welcome here. So, that was weird. That was really <sighs> Welcome to my home. I didn't say that before, but we are in my home. And this is a day in the life of me. Just kidding. <laughs> that was really dumb. Okay. Wait, is this my good side? Wait, is this? A... No, they're both pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> If nothing else today, you learned how to make a quality cup, quality cup of coffee. Wow, let's do that again, jeez. So you got some sweet beans from Redbeard Coffee for a Christmas gift. <laughs> so how's your nap? Did you have a good nap? I was making coffee. Uh, uh huh. Got a gun there, huh? Drill, tiny drill. Tiny drill. Are you gonna shoot that? It's loaded. Be careful. Oh, nice shot. Oh, yeah. Uh.